never know when to start on these things. I'm getting the spinning wheel. Okay. Hi, it's Dr. Casey, the longevity doctor. Ever since my puppy and I were attacked by vicious dogs a couple weeks ago, I found myself feeling uh, fragile, um, vulnerable, kind of shaky, not really knowing who I am. And whenever anything awful happens to me, I always ask myself, where is the gift? And I always find it. And I, I find this inner strength and I see the good things that are coming. But at this point, I'm seeing the gift is this state of being so fragile. You know, I've, I've always, um, you know, I always felt like I had to be a perfect example of what I talk about and practice what I preach. When I was a doctor, I always felt like I had to prove to my patients that it can be done. And I did walk my talk and, and practice what I preach. And people see me as being really resilient and courageous. And I have been through a lot. But I'm starting to see right now that I had, you know, I'm, I'm working with longevity and I know so few people believe it's possible to age in reverse and I'm so into proving that it can be done and I feel like I'm aging really well and you know doing everything right and, and trying to show you that it can be done but the part that has been lacking is to let you know that it's not easy that sometimes we break down and sometimes we almost, I'm not feeling hopeless right now, but I know how it could be easy to feel that when you're feeling sick or, or there's a death in the family or something horrible happens to you. It's not like you're out there, you know, I feel like I'm always the one that's the cheerleader and the one with all the energy. And I can't be that right now. And I realize that that's actually, besides the fact that I know what I'm doing and I practice what I preach, this is what makes me a good coach. I know what it feels like to feel broken down. I know what it feels like when you don't know who you are anymore. I've been looking at, you know, this horrible trauma has brought me to my knees where I see how shut down I've been by being this perfectionist. And in this state I'm in right now, just feeling vulnerable and not knowing who I am, I have opened myself up to, to more love than I ever dreamed was possible. My whole life is just filled with love. And, and, and I realize how, even though I'm a pretty, you know, I'm, I'm a loving person, I realize that, that there's a lot of me that gets into this intellectual place of having to be perfect. And I, I just, I want you to know that it's okay to break down because I don't even know what's on the other end of this. I'm not, I don't know who I'm going to be when I get myself put back together. But I feel like right now the gift is that I'm, part of me is just feeling helpless and a little broken and so grateful. You know, in the past I would have tried to fix this. And right now, I'm just in the awe and the wonder of who I'm going to be at the end of it. There are a lot of things that, no, I'm not going to do it. Because I have all these tips about what to do. 
to age in reverse. And tonight I was going to teach you a meditation, but it's almost five minutes and I don't like doing long videos because frankly, I don't sit through long videos. So I guess what I have to say now is I am there for you. And if you wonder whether or not you can turn the aging process around, it's okay to, to realize that it might be hard, but I can tell you that you can do it. And I would love to support you. If you just want to have a conversation with me, please DM me or send me a, you know, a, a little emoji or something and let me know because I am here for you and we can do this together. Have a great Friday night.